Hi everybody, it's me, Darla. Long time no see. Um, I have been um laid up. Uh, most of you know. I think I told you on the last video or the video before. I had been in a motorcycle accident. Uh, accident. Um, so I've been you know trying to recover from it. Um, with the accident, I wasn't able to exercise or anything. My weight went up. Um, I went up to about 230 pounds. I went down to 215, but since I couldn't exercise and I wasn't eating right, I went back up to 230. Well, now I'm down as of today to 224. Um, just quick recap. I had gastric bypass um, October 11th. And October 11, 2011, I had um, the Ruin Y. I was at the time, um, my highest weight recorded was 386. At the time of surgery, I was 331. Um, now I am 224. Um, I'm doing juicing. Um, is one of the things I'm doing right now. Um, I got me a juicer and just so I can get my vegetables in too because I'm not a big fan of vegetables. And I was looking at the V8 splash juice and stuff like that. And it has a lot of sugar in it. <laughs> and since I get the dumping syndrome, I am not about to try that. So I got me a juicer so I can make my own V8. And, um, what I do, um, like the shake I made yesterday, I put, um, an apple in a pear, I put some strawberries and blackberries, I put, um, watermelon, I put a whole bag of broccoli in it, I put spinach and kale and, um, romaine lettuce, and, um, I put, um, I, I juiced all that, put it in the blender, I put one banana in there, the blender, and I put in half an avocado. Be why I did this, and I put, I like the J-Rob protein shakes, um, protein powder, a lot better than any of the others. I've tried pretty much everyone out there, and I personally like the J-Rob. I don't like the whey taste. Um, it really gets to me. It makes me sick. So I did, um, I do the J-Rob that doesn't have as strong of a whey flavor to it. And um, I put um, the, I use the strawberry J-Rob protein shake. I put one scoop in there and some ice. Um, the half of avocado basically takes the place of milk, um, even fat-free milk, if you guys make your protein shakes with milk. It gives the creamy that the milk will have you do, uh, that the milk will give. Um, the half of avocado gives that creamy um, texture. So you don't have to, it cuts down on fat. Um, so I just blend that up and, um, I also, um, okay, a pear, apple. I just, I put a lot of fruit, strawberries, um, all kinds of fruit in it, um, along with all kinds of vegetables and, you guys, it tastes like a strawberry milkshake is what it tasted like. Um, you could tell there was other fruit and stuff in there. The watermelon was real strong. I don't think I'm going to put the watermelon next time. I'm going to put more of the strawberries in. Um, could not taste all the vegetables. Um, couldn't taste them at all. And so I'm gonna, um, I, what I'm gonna be doing is for my lunch is gonna be a protein shake. It's gonna be those. It's gonna be the juice 
because it the juice is not only protein but it has fruits and vegetables in it um pure fruit and vegetable so that's what i'm gonna do there um i also got one of those pans i'm sure you guys have seen it um advertised on tv it um looks like two small frying pans um stuck together and like a clam and um in the mornings what i do is i'll saute up like um cut into real s small pieces some onion and then i'll chop up asparagus into small chunks um, um mushrooms bell peppers the green yellow and red um i'll saute those up for about five minutes um in a pan and then i will while those are sauteing i'll put two eggs in a bowl no milk i'll cut a thick slice of uh, tomato chop that up small pieces stick that in with the egg then I'll whisk that up and once the vegetables are done sauteing in the pan for five minutes then I'll put it into that clam pan thing that I bought and then dump the egg over the top and just cook me up an omelet and there's tons of vegetables and plus you get the two eggs for the protein along with it um if you want if you don't want to do whole eggs if you have a problem with cholesterol um then you can just you know get the egg white and um just do egg whites in it but um and i do salt and pepper that's the only seasoning i put in it i don't put any cheese um and I, that's I have that and I have a cup of coffee for breakfast. I like my coffee, guys. Sorry. Um, I'm that's my vice is my coffee. Um, but I'll do that for breakfast. For mid morning snack, I'll have a piece of fruit. I'll do the juice protein shake for lunch, then mid afternoon another piece of fruit. And then for dinner I'll have um some kind of meat um fish or lamb we have that had lamb on sale um so i got a lot of lamb this time lamb shakes lamb chops um i also got chicken and pork chops but um and some um not halibut um tilapia alaskan tilapia um i got some real thick fillets of it um, at H-E-B, if those of you in Texas know what H-E-B is, um, I love shopping there. <laughs> but um, I got about four of those, and they're real big. Um, so I'll either have steamed fish and vegetables for dinner, or, um, you know, I'll make um, steak or whatever, whatever we have on hand and some vegetables and um i'll also i'll have at dinner i will have some kind of a carb um pasta i found some vegetable pasta um so that or brown rice or wild rice or bread and butter just a piece of bread and butter um potato whatever um but i will have a carb at dinner time I still, I don't eat a whole bunch. What I do with my daughter is I'll split a piece of meat with her. Um, she gets most of it. And unless, like, the, the lamb chops are real small, so I can eat one of those by myself. Um, but um, I'll split that and then have just, you know, a little bit. I use a saucer plate real small saucer plate and I don't even fill it up um that's basically how much I eat I can't put a whole bunch in my stomach it uh, my pouch doesn't hold a lot even though I'm almost two years out it's still if I push it I'll get really sick so I I do more of eating small meals um 
like six small meals instead of having a big meal. I know some people are able to do the great big meals, but I'm not one of them. I can't do it. Um, I will get really sick. But um, that's basically what I'm doing. And then um, every day that I've been working out, um, I have the the it's the Chuck Norris advertised Total Gym. I have one of those. I have a treadmill. I have a recumbent bike. Um, I also, the apartment complex that we live in, um, has a gym and then the pool. Um, I'm going to start back up doing my laps in the pool. What I do is 10 laps um, when I'm in there. But, um, and then right now, because of my accident with my leg, um, and my arm, I do, I'm only doing one set, um, on the, the weights, and I do a set of 20, um, of, I have a circuit I do, and it's full body, um, weightlifting, um, so I do that, um, so I get about 45 minutes to an hour a day of exercise, and um, then I just, I'm just trying to eat right. I do a lot of vitamins, um, make sure I get a lot of vitamins in. I know I'm saying I'm um, a lot. I'm just, <laughs> I'm tired. It is um, a quarter till six in the morning. Um, I woke up at about three o'clock and I couldn't go back to sleep. So, um but I, um, like I said, I do, I make sure I get all my vitamins. I take about five different kinds of vitamins a day and I, um, just exercise. I, I know I should drink a lot of water. I don't like water guys. I'm sorry. I do not like water. Hold on. I'd like coffee, but I'm only doing one cup a day but I can't stand water. I do drink Diet Coke. The caffeine-free Diet Coke. I figure that has nothing in it. It's basically um, bubbly flavored water. <laughs> it's what it is because there's no caffeine in it, um, no sugar in it, no calories in it. So um, I do drink that. Um, but that's about it. Um, that's what I'm doing. Um, I haven't been watching any videos lately. I haven't made any videos. Um, I got my motorcycle endorsement for my, on my trike. Yay. For those of you that are friends on Facebook. Um, so I've been out riding a lot with my husband and my daughter. We've been going out riding every day. Um, I'm loving it. I actually, I got on the other side of the 250 loop into traffic. Yay. <laughs> I had been only, um, for those of you that ride motorcycles, um, I was scared to death of traffic and I'd never done shifting before. I've always had an automatic car. I had a rabbit one time, well, tried to drive a standard rabbit turned it into a rabbit. I made that car hop. Um, <laughs> and my dad, who is a preacher, does not cuss very much, but uh, his little Chevette, he tried to teach me how to drive it. He actually told me to get the hell out of his car <laughs> Cause when I was younger, because when I got nervous, um, I would take my hands and feet off everything. <laughs> killed his car um yeah i just was could not drive a standard but i'm doing pretty good with the shifting with the motorcycle i'm actually doing really good i got it out on the highway got up to 70 miles an hour um and i got um day before yesterday i actually got it into on the other side of the 250 loop into traffic 
I was afraid of stoplights, you know, because, you know, shifting down and stopping all at the same time. When I have a bunch of things I have to remember to do, I get nervous. But I did good. I did really good. And so me and my husband and my daughter, we get out there and start riding. I did learn um, it was 101 degrees. Don't go riding in the heat. Because I overheat it. <laughs> but um, in the mornings, get out there when it's cool out and just start riding and have fun um, where, when it's cool. I, I'm actually enjoying, really enjoying riding the motorcycle. Um, because it's something, it's a family thing. Um, I'm really into family. Um, I mean, those of you treasure your family get out it's summertime um every chance you can get that you're off work get out there we me and my family before we got the motorcycles we were sitting in the house doing nothing i mean if we went out it was to go out to eat now the other day um we got out and we went and fed the ducks we took the motorcycles over to the lake and we fed the ducks i had made bread about a week ago the old bread i took we took it and we crumbled it and got pictures of my daughter she had a blast she was throwing it in the water and the turtles were coming up and grabbing it and she, we just had a blast free guys i mean cost us gas money to get to the lake um, it was, um, it was, it was fun. I mean, get out there, do stuff with your family. Um, that you can do stuff that doesn't require money. It just get out there and be together. I mean, if you ride motorcycles, get out there and ride. And I mean, if you don't, go camping, go fishing. I mean, get out there in nature. The sunshine will do you good. it actually make you happy. Because <laughs> um, sitting in the house, I was getting depressed. I was getting to the point I didn't want to leave the house. And I was like that before I lost the weight. And... It was putting me back into that depression again that I didn't want to go anywhere. I didn't want to do anything. And which made me not want to go exercise. It, But now that I'm getting out and doing things, I want to exercise. I want to get out. I want to look better. I want to feel better. And getting out and doing things just makes me feel better. Um. So that's... That's basically it. Oh, I'm going to see if you guys can see him. Hold on. Got my nails done. Um, it, what it is, it's Celtic crosses um, with roses. And the pinky... If you can see it I don't know if you can he put two roses with gold leaves on the pinky and then the Celtic cross with the roses on the rest of the fingers so I'm really really into Celtic crosses I love Celtic crosses um I'm Scottish um, Scottish and Irish and um, English that's my background and I just the Highlands fascinate me I mean all the books I read are like about the Highlands and um, on our 25th wedding anniversary which is about four years from now I'm uh, in December I'll be married for 21 years um, that's one of the things I told my husband I want to do. I want to go to Scotland. I want to go to Ireland. I want to take that trip. 
um, and go see the moors and go see the castles and just so I want to have all my weight off by then I want to have had the surgery to get the skin removed um, and just be in the top peak of my health my husband is going he um, agreed to he's going to get the surgery and get the weight off him because he's diabetic and um, our daughter being special needs she's probably gonna be with us the rest of our lives and I told my husband we got to prolong our lives as long as possible because we have to be there for her and take care of her so I don't want somebody else taking care of her I want to be there for her so um, I'm planning on living 50 60 more years <laughs> I'm only 42 um, I want to live over a hundred. I'm going to try my best to do it and take care of her. Um, so that's, I'm just really happy that he has said that he'll do the surgery and get the weight off him, which will get rid of his diabetes, which his diabetes is pretty bad. And so it'll get rid of that. It'll um, get him to healthy. And I mean, I love the way he looks. I the the weight doesn't bother me. I just I don't want to lose him. My husband is my soulmate. He's everything to me. I mean, I love him so much. I love him more now than when we were first married i love him more and more every year and i want to keep him around um so i mean i want him to get the surgery and get healthy so where we can go out and we can exercise together and we can do that as a family exercising um so that's that's about it that's i really don't have much else to report um i've been rambling on for quite a while now so i'm gonna actually let you guys go um is really good to talk to you again i'm not gonna make any promises of when i'm gonna put my next video up but i'll try to do as soon as i can um but guys go out have fun with your family this summer and just be healthy. I will talk to you later. Bye.